We're approaching the end of Chapter 5, and with that marks another stage of the game. Chapter 5 has been very interesting, to say the least. Every season has had pretty mixed reviews, I feel like, so ranking it is going to be intriguing. Was it bad? Was it good? That's what we're going to find out today. But before we get into it, just want to say be sure to like this video if you like this kind of content. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Chapter 5 as a whole. Be sure to subscribe, use code Riven the Item Shop, and without any further ado, Let's get right into this video. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to go over the biggest new additions in chapter five, because if I went over everything, I would be here forever. So first thing we're going to go over is the map. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like this map. I don't think it's bad necessarily. I just don't like it. I don't think that a lot of the POIs are that good for me personally. Here, here's my take. Here's my take. I don't like how realistic the map looks. Now hear me out. Okay, listen. Let me tell you a tale of OG Fortnite. So in the beginning, Fortnite was set apart partially because of its graphics. It was known as a cartoon version of a lot of good Battle Royale games, like PUBG was the main one at the time when Fortnite came out. I feel like the fact that it's getting more and more realistic, I feel like it's just abandoning the, the principles of what the game was built on. I just, I don't, I, it, it doesn't feel like a Fortnite map. It feels like a, a COD map. And I feel like it's really symbolic for the progress that Fortnite's making. I don't hate progress. I just, I feel like the game is progressing and with that, it's kind of leaving behind what it was started on and what worked from the beginning. I feel like for one of these chapters in the future, they should revert a little bit back to chapter two and one, not with the map or anything, but just with the way the game worked and how the game looked, especially. So that's my take on the map. I just don't, I didn't, I didn't love it. Any seasons, I, I was not really that big of a fan. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we'll talk about some good stuff that's come from chapter five. Weapon mods. Weapon mods are a really cool feature. This is definitely chapter five's feature. I've heard a lot of people say they should leave weapon mods in chapter five. That'll be their thing. I would not mind if they happen to carry over to chapter six because I love weapon mods. I think they're cool. They're they're not a huge part of the game, but they're, they're a cool way to, to customize your gun and we've never really had that in the game before so I, I really like weapon mods i would not mind if they snuck their way into chapter six at all now medallions on the other hand i feel like medallions will get left behind in chapter five i think that was definitely chapter five's thing i really like the concept of a medallion i just feel like they never executed to its full potential like the first season it was super broken you know with like the shield gain i think they all did the same thing pretty much you just got a bunch of shield. And the second season, they changed a little bit with the Cerberus dashes and everything like that. Season threes were pretty cool too. And season fours are kind of weak sauce, not gonna lie. I just, I don't know. I feel like they should have done more like the Emma Frost medallion where like you have the ability to see people's locations. I sh I've just, I feel like they could have expanded more with the medallions. They could have done cooler abilities. I think they waited for the last season to kind of branch out. I, I like medallion. I like the idea a lot medallions i just i don't feel like they really executed it that well and that's how i feel about a lot of this stuff in chapter five to be honest so i would not mind if medallions got left behind in chapter five i don't mind if they carry over either i, I mean that's cool hopefully they make them better and actually execute well all right real quick let's talk about some weapons that i really like from chapter five. First off striker ar that john is punching i love the striker ar it looks just like a scar but it is not like a scar it does a lot of damage to builds and it is a really really good gun and of course there was a mythic version in season one next we got the thunderburst smg oh my oh that's my pookie bear right there i'm not gonna lie i'm usually the one that that has to spew hate all over the smgs because they usually make them way too overpowered and i mean the thunderburst it was de it was pretty overpowered but it was a burst so if you go up against someone with good aim with this and they're close enough to you then you're not gonna have a very good time but it's also so fun to use insane range on it like you don't even need to carry an ar with a thunder it's oh man it's just i hope i hope that they bring this back at some point the new striker burst ar i do like it i honestly think they could have added the the chapter three one and it would have been just fine but i'm i'm totally cool with the one they added it's pretty good it's not quite as good as that one but i really like it i hope that it comes back one day after this season shotguns they can all stay behind i hated every shotgun this chapter the auto was super busted the first season the gatekeeper they pretty much ran the shotgun meta since it came out season two and then we got the Sovereign Shotgun this season, which is okay. It's not the best, but I, I like it. The Hammer Pump, oh, it frustrates me so much because I like the Hammer Pump. 
It's just so bad. I hate that Epic made it so weak. I just, I wish it was better and it's not. And it makes me really sad. All right, so now that I've kind of gone over some some broad stuff, we'll, we'll go over, we'll briefly run through each season. So season one was a good season. To be honest, I think it's, it's one of the best of this chapter, which season one was fun. I mean... It's a season one. We get we were introduced to the game. The medallions were super broken in the beginning. I remember that. Auto shotgun was busted. I remember that as well. Yeah, season one, it was aight, but just not not my favorite. Season two, season two just missed so much potential, man. First part of the season, the Zeus Thunderbolt was so stupidly overpowered, and they nerfed it a, a bit over time. It was still broken for a while, and then I think they eventually nerfed it again. They just and then the stupid Avatar collab, bro. Collabs now they just feel. It feels so unoriginal. I don't hate collabs. Like, I've come to like them. I've come to appreciate them. But when your game loses your identity because of these collabs, I think that's a problem. I don't mind when collabs are put in the game and they don't overtake the whole theme. But once the Avatar stuff came in Season 2, the th the season lost its entire theme. They refused to progress the, the Myths and Mortals theme. And that's what I hate, because I feel like that could have been really cool, and they could have progressed that a lot more, and they didn't. Not to mention the Mythics were annoying to fight against. The waterbending was so dumb, and they kept that in the game the longest. That was the most annoying one, and they decided, oh yeah, let's leave that in the game for the whole season. Like, oh no, let's take the Wings of Icarus out, and then take the the, the airbending mythic out so that way you have no movement like it just it doesn't make any sense season two just frustrated me man and i mean some good stuff did come out of it like the warforged ar uh, that's an unpopular opinion no one really likes that except me for some reason i really like it the wings of icarus i wish they were in the game longer because they were in the game for like two weeks and then they were gone those were really really cool i love that uh the dashes the underworld dashes also that whole biome with grimgate underworld that was it's it's a it's a cool biome and of course got the gatekeeper shotgun which ruled chapter five from then on pretty much i just season two frustrated me man i don't think it was bad i just it could have been so much better and then we move on to season three as a competitive player season three was the worst season of all time as a casual player season three was pretty fun i i kind of i kind of had to become a casual player this season because competitive was so insufferable i just kind of had to start playing zero build and i mean even regular pub games i didn't play that much i just i had to sit back and become a casual player and not play that much because that's the only way that i would have made it through that season without permanently quitting casually it was pretty fun especially if you paced yourself like i did i only got on like once every week or so and it, it was fun i had some good fun in zero build I, obviously i don't like the cars and i don't like the nitro splashes and everything i think that those were good ideas i just i feel like that that was just a very one-sided season with the casuals being able to have fun and the competitive players were just kind of left hung out to dry and i mean that kind of sucks when you're just ignoring one whole part of your community especially the part of your community that plays the game the most and knows about the game the most so yeah i was not a fan of season three and then we got season four we're not all the way through it yet i like it i don't think it's phenomenal but i think it's good i'd give it like a solid 7.9 out of 10 like it's a, it's a good season i've had some fun so far competitive is playable so i'm having a good time with it i like a lot of the new additions sovereign shotgun monarch pistol the emma frost medallion the jet pack even though i didn't like it at first I'm, I'm starting to come around to it i think this season is a good season and even though we're not finished with it yet i think this is definitely the best of the chapter 100% already I can say that overall I don't feel like this chapter was bad I just don't feel like it's on the same level as every other chapter I, I just for me personally as an OG player I feel like the further along we go the further away we get from OG Fortnite and the less I like it I guess if that makes sense like I said I don't hate progress I just I hate how we're straying further and further away from the best stage of Fortnite in my opinion and as far as like comparing this I think chapter Chapter 3 sweeps Chapter 5. Chapter 1 and 2 are way above... This It's not even a competition. Chapter 1 and 2 are way above all the other chapters and chapter three sweeps chapter five in my opinion and i think chapter four is better too i don't even like chapter four but i think it was more fun than, than this chapter was so do i think chapter five was bad i mean no i think that some part i think that a lot of parts of it were bad but i can't say that the whole thing is i can't say the whole of chapter five is bad because i mean there were some fun parts of it there were some shiny spots but 100 percent, this is to me the worst chapter so far that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad i just i think that i 
every other chapter was better than chapter 5. I love this game, man. I really do. And I've loved it for a long time. And to see it go away and keep going away from what I love, it's, it's a little defeating. I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, that's life. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I think a lot of new players had fun this chapter. And that's what matters. Maybe, maybe it's time for us old players to just pass the torch. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Obviously, not a lot of you are gonna agree with me, but that's okay. Uh, just let me know. Talk to me about what I missed in the comments. Obviously, I skimmed through a lot of it because I don't want this to be too long of a video. So, leave a comment saying something about what you thought should have been in the video. Talk about it. I'm, I'm down to listen. I'll... I'll try to reply to as many as I can. Just thank you guys so much for all the support, though. Be sure to like this video if you like this kind of content. Subscribe if you enjoy. Uh, be sure to turn the bell icon on so that you're notified when I'm live and when I upload. And uh, use code BRIVY in the item shop. Anyways, I love you, and I will see you in the next one.